Hello, uh, uh, we are back. We are going to talk in the second tutorial about how to make uh, proof of work. Uh, in the first tutorial, we talk about how to implement a small and tiny blockchain. And we saw how to make uh, the uh, class called block and the class called blockchain and we implemented them I wish you could have the uh, uh, the first uh, tutorial code because we are going to build on it so first of all we have to know that uh, it is very easy to add blocks for this chain no problem you can add as much blocks as you can but it is not good if uh, spammers want to spam our blockchain with millions of millions of blocks so adding block it here is very easy so we have to find a way to make it very difficult so nobody can add a new block that easy and also uh, we have to check that the attacker cannot start from the first block and uh, recalculate every hash in the blockchain and uh, uh, tamper with the data and then recalculate everything again if it is easy like that it will be calculated very fast and the hacker will change the entire blockchain in a blink of an eye so to solve this problem we do something called we do something called proof of work proof of work the proof of work is a way to make adding block is very difficult making it very difficult for the the spammers to do it uh, for example in Bitcoin they uh, accept only the hash code that starts with a specific number of zeros and also they assign a time limit for adding blocks so new block will be added every 10 minutes according to the number of zeros at the beginning of the hash it's called the difficulty so if it is only one zero so the difficulty will be one and if it is two zeros the difficulty will be two zero uh, two and so on and every time or by time or by time uh, the processing power is increased so uh, uh, Bitcoin changed the difficulty every for example five or three years they increase the difficulty because the processing power is increased so they have to increase it too so now it is enough for talk we can start coding so now what we are going to do is to make adding block difficult so we will add uh, uh, mining the, the process of finding the number of zeros in the hash value is called mining so we make the mining in the block itself so we define a function we call this function mine block and it takes nothing it, uh, it only take sorry it only take difficulty level difficult and we said that difficulty is the number of zeros in the beginning of each hash or each hash value so we iterate until we find the hash value the beginning of the hash value to start from the start to the difficulty is not equal to string with 
the same number of difficulty the same number of difficulty of zeros so we have difficulty again we talk about this uh, in uh, a much uh, much uh, clear way difficulty for example if it is 5 so we will take the begin the early beginning of the hash value the beginning the the, the beginning string uh, five uh, it's is, is going to be 5 so it will take the first five characters we have to check if it is not equal to z fell means zero filling with the, the same number which is five so it is a string of five zeros so we have to check that the beginning of the hash value equals to a string of five zeros if th this is two so the beginning of the hash value is equal to two zeros and so on so we iterate until we find the required the required I think we missed something here no okay it will be clear right now uh, okay now we uh, have to add the hash value to calculate hash so if we find this value we uh, we exit the loop okay so we don't calculate the hash if we found the hash value was the, the defined number of zeros mm -hmm. but now if you concentrate you will find you will find that the nothing is changed in the block because nonce is not a change it p stamp is not a change it transaction is not a change it previous hash is not everything is not a change it so the the same value of hash will arise every time so we have to find something here that can be changed so we nonce we assign the nonce the nonce value is is done for this purpose is assigned for this purpose it is it has an, uh, a random value uh, value it has a, a random value and this random value change the entire block value so every time we create or calculate the hash we get another value of a hash or another hash value every time we recalculate the hash we get another hash value because this value is it changed randomly but uh, for simplicity we not we will not change it, change it randomly we will just increase its value by uh, we just increase its value by just one so we say self dot nonce equal plus equal one and then after we finish we make sure that we have we have uh, mined the block so we, we print a message block mind and we display the hash value okay okay now we have finished the the mining of the block we have finished it to use it we have to go to the blockchain and we assign a difficulty number of zeros that we are going to pass it to this function the number uh, the difficulty is a, a characteristic of the blockchain so we have to define it here so we say self dot difficulty equal two for example we start with two okay and then the most important thing is when we add a, a block when we add new block we have not to calculate only calculate hash but we have to call mine block we call mine block to make sure that uh, the hash value starts with the defined number of zeros so we uh, we say uh, 
new block dot mine block of difficulty or self dot difficulty okay 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 now we are ready to run our program we add a block we call the mine block so we know the difficulty here is assigned to the blockchain and uh, now we are ready to test our uh, to, to test our uh, blo blockchain or the test our uh, mining function we w we want to test our mining function okay so we go there and print value here print message we say adding the first block and here we print adding the second block that's it now we are ready to run our program we check if it is working well or not okay it is running very good it's running adding the first block and adding the second block we have uh, two zeros starting in the hash value and then here we have another two zeros here so we assigned a difficulty here to two so the processing were was very fast but if we increase it to four what about if we increase it to four and we need to see the result you see it takes some time it takes some time what about increasing to five I think it is exponential so uh, every time you increase one it, it means that you increase too much time so take care of it because maybe the program is yes, now starting to make time to take time I'm sorry starting to take some time yes long time now yes if we increase the difficulty it will be very hard to add a, a new block what about 10 what about 7 what about 12 it will take long long time so take care of it it is searching right now for a uh, uh, hash value starts with five zeros it cannot find it, it cannot find it right now five difficulty five is very difficult for my computer it cannot find yes found one finally he found one yes and searching for the second block and that's good he found the block finally I'm happy right now because uh, the miners also is going to be happy like me if they found yes finally we found another uh, hash value another another block starts with five zeros I'm very happy because you know if I am a miner in real world problems or real world blockchain I will be granted bitcoins so I will be happy uh, if you increase the difficulty to too much level it will be very hard for the uh, for uh, normal people that they have PC like me like you to make to make the mining process so you have to make to take or to find a processing power very processing power very high processing power so you have to prepare uh, hardware that's suitable for the mining process and thank you for the second tutorial and I wish I we could meet in the